Hey guys, I just arrived in Sydney. I have to stay here for a night before I leave for my US trip. I'm so excited because Sydney is a really fun place. I've arrived in the hotel room and as you can see, it is so gorgeous. It's really large and spacious, but I am only staying here one night because my plane leaves really early tomorrow morning. Ginger is the doll that I'll be traveling with on this trip and as you can see she's made herself really comfy on the bed already and the view is amazing outside. It shows the Harbour Bridge and the Opera House. It is such a gorgeous day and I am in love with this view. Sydney is the perfect place to go shopping so let's go into some stores to see what we can find. As it is the holiday season, everything's really festive, so it's so much fun to go through all the Christmas and holiday ornaments that they have at the store. There is a lot of elf on the shelf items at the store as well, and all of these outfits are so cute. I have never seen these elf pets before, and they are so much fun and so perfect for the elf on the shelf. Right next to the elf on the shelf area, there is a really fun Build-A-Bear pop-up store. There are so many cute little bears to choose from and outfits and accessories as well. But I think my favorite Build-A-Bear would have to be the minions on the top there. And I also love all the festive and holiday outfits you can choose from for your bears. Unfortunately, it's now time to head back to the hotel as it is getting pretty late and I need to get up pretty early for my flight tomorrow. Good night guys, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning guys, it's the next day and today I will be flying out of Australia and heading over to the US for my vacation. I am so excited and it's definitely going to be a lot of fun. Everything is all packed so it's now time to head out to the airport. I am on the plane now, so we're just waiting to take off. They've even brought us PJs to wear, which is so handy to make our plane ride really comfy. After the long trip, we have finally arrived in San Francisco. I'm so excited because I've never been to San Francisco before, so it's going to be so much fun to take a look at all of the different landmarks. You can see Ginger in the corner there already, and the view is amazing from the room. You can see San Francisco. And it also seems like such a gorgeous day today, so it's going to be so much fun to explore all the different sites. The first thing I need to do is unpack Ginger's suitcase, so in the top drawer I'm going to be placing all of her rompers and dresses down. All of these are so pretty and she's going to look amazing in these outfits. And in the next drawer I'm going to be placing her jackets, her t-shirts, her skirts and shorts, just pretty much any other clothing piece that I have for her. And of course I can't forget to place down her shoes as well. And right at the bottom, I have her hair accessories to place down, which is really handy so I can do different hairstyles on her hair and also some swimmers as well. And in the last drawer, I'll be placing down Ginger's PJ, so I brought two pairs for her. The first one's meant to be really festive and fun, it's got little penguins on it, and the other one's just more a classic American Girl pair of PJs for her. And then right at the bottom, I'll be placing down her sleeping bag. Currently, I'm walking around San Francisco and they have such amazing holiday displays. They're all so cute and I love the little pug in the corner. And if you're wondering, this is what the other side of the display looks like. 
This department store is trying to adopt out pets for the holiday season. As you can see, they've given out 51 to loving homes, which is amazing. And you can actually see the cats through the window. There are three here and they are all so cute. I wish I could take all of them home. I hope these kittens are able to find homes because they're so adorable and lovely and playful and they'll be perfect pets. Right now I'm with Ginger and we are at Target and I found all of these awesome mega construct sets that are American Girl themed. So this one here is Leah and it's an amazing rainforest sanctuary set. It is so cute and this one up here is a Grace set. But I think my favorite one would have to be McKenna set up here as it is quite small so if I do buy it I can bring it home with me. And here is a photo that I posted on my Instagram story. Be sure to follow it, it's AG Overseas Fan and I post exclusive behind the scenes photos on there. Here is another photo that I posted on my Instagram story and I asked you guys which set would you prefer? Would you prefer the Grace cooking set or the McKenna gymnastics set? The winner was the McKenna's gymnastics set. Be sure to comment down below which one you would buy if you had a chance. So I think this is the set I'll be buying today. There is also a really large ad generation area in this Target store. There's so many dolls, accessories, and furniture pieces to choose from. Some accessories on the top here is a doll carrier, a doll hair salon chair, and this motorbike. And along the bottom there is some fun accessory packs including this doll size bathtub and I love the owl themed bathrobe it comes with. It's now time to take a look at the toy section and I have found some heart for heart girl dolls and I've never actually seen these before. I've seen them online but I've never seen them in person and they are so pretty. They look really similar to Welly Wishers as in the size and everything but they are gorgeous and I really wish I could add one in my collection. Also in the toy section, there's a pretty large Orbeez area with this awesome Ultimate Smoothing Spa set. I've never seen this before and it seems like it's really fun. And there's also some refillable Orbeez and there's lots of different colors to choose from. There's a total of 400 that come in each pack. One of Ginger's favorite movies is the Descendants movie, so she was so excited when she found these dolls that look like Mel. As you can see, their outfits are so cute. Ginger even found the Jojo Siwa doll and she is so much fun. I actually already have her, but I'm really glad I still found her at the store. And if you're wondering, this is what the back looks like. There's a bunch of facts about her, which is really fun. One item that I've really loved to collect lately is squishies and Ginger found this huge box full of squishies and as you can see they're jumbo, they're really large and they're full of really yummy treats. I think my favorite one would have to be the cupcake one and the pancake one. But as you guys can see they're super slow rising and squishy. And the other area that Ginger found was the Sum Sum area, and these are perfectly doll sized, so I love to take a look at this area. And as for the rest of the day, I'll be sightseeing around San Francisco, so here I am in Chinatown right now. It's really pretty, and it's so much fun to take a look. And right now I am on Lombard Street, which is a really windy street in San Francisco. It was definitely an adventure to go down, but it was really fun and a great experience. And if you're wondering, this is what the bottom of the street looks like. 
And right now I'm at the Painted Ladies and these houses were actually featured in the TV show Full House but it's not the actual house that they filmed with. I'll go to that very shortly. And this is the actual house they film with and here's a boomerang of me going up and down the stairs. Right now I am at Fisherman's Wharf and it's a great place to have seafood so that's where I'll be eating lunch. The place that I'm eating for lunch is called Skoma's and it seems like it has some really yummy food so I can't wait to see what I'm getting for lunch. Lunch has finally arrived and it looks really delicious. And this is what the view looks like of Fisherman's Wharf. As you can see it is such a gorgeous day so it's so pretty out and you can even see Alcatraz in the middle. As you guys can see, there are a lot of seals all along the side here on Pier 39. It was definitely very noisy, but it was really fun to take a look at all of them. As it is getting pretty late, it's time to leave Fisherman's Wharf and to head back to the hotel. I thought it'd be fun to open up and set up this mega construct set that I bought. It's really cute because it's McKenna themed and it's all about gymnastics and I can't wait to build it so let's get started. So the first thing I need to do is open it up and take all of the pieces out including the instruction book because that will be very helpful. The first item that I have built is the beam. As you can see, it fits really nicely on the Construct dolls. It's perfect sizing and it looks really realistic as well. The next item that I have built is the bars. and As you can see, it's really awesome. It's very sturdy and what I love about it is that McKenna can actually grip onto the bars to make it really realistic. Of course you can't have a gymnastics ceremony without a podium, so this one has first, second, and third on it, and it's very cute, so I have both of my Mega Construct dolls standing there. And the largest piece to build was definitely the stadium. It is so awesome, so there's speakers on either side so you can play music, there's a locker room so you can store your accessories and your bags and everything like that, and then on the other side there's some seats so you can sit down and cheer on your friends, and there's some really adorable pieces. I'll just place them down throughout the set. Overall, this was a really fun set to build. I really loved it because there's so many great pieces and it's so perfect for the doll. So first off, we have the beam and then we have the floor mat. And on the other side, we have the bars. We have the dolls next to the podium as well. And then the stadium right at the back. It seems like it's getting pretty late out, so it's time for Ginger to get dressed in her PJs. The only thing Ginger needs is her stuffed teddy, and now she's ready for bed. Good night, guys. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning, guys. It's the next day. As you can see, it is so gorgeous outside, and I woke up pretty early because I am pretty jet lagged, so I was able to see the sunrise. The first thing I need to do is pick out an outfit for Ginger to wear, and this dress will look so pretty on her. Right now I'm at the Japanese Tea Garden and it seems like such a pretty place, I can't wait to head inside to see what they have. As you guys can see, Ginger is definitely enjoying her visit here. If you are ever in San Francisco, I definitely recommend visiting the Tea Garden as it's so gorgeous and pretty and there's so many little gardens everywhere and it's very peaceful and calm. And of course, Ginger is absolutely loving this visit as well. It's now time for me to leave the Japanese Tea Garden and I'm about to head over to Japantown because it's actually really close by to grab a quick bite for lunch. Lunch has arrived and as you can see, it looks really delicious. 
While I'm at Japantown, I definitely need to go shopping and all the stores are amazing. There's so many little blind bags and squishies everywhere and Ginger's found this huge area. Ginger also found all these awesome squishies. I think my favorite one would have to be the ice cream one, but they're all so cute and super slow rising. On the way home from Japantown, I stopped into an Our Generation or into a Target to take a look and to see what they had. And as you can see, there's a lot of different items. It's really different from the other Target as well, which is great. And this hair salon chair is so adorable. There is also quite a large lorry display with some really cute mini doll sized furniture and pieces. This is such a cute PJ set, I love it. I've never seen it before while I've been shopping and it has a little pug on the front, it's so much fun. And this outfit is really cute as well, it's perfect for a summer's day, it comes with a little pineapple and a flower crown. And of course, I can't forget to show you guys some of the larger pieces at the bottom row. We have a diner and also an ice cream truck. I'm so excited about this find here. It's this adorable shoe rack and it comes with a ton of really cute doll sized shoes and umbrella and it would be so perfect for my dolls but unfortunately it's a little bit too large today for me to put in my suitcase. This outfit here is really cute as well. It's called Brighten Up a Rainy Day and it's so much fun. It comes with a little umbrella and a raincoat and I think this outfit would have to be another one of my favorites today. It's called A Splash of Fun and then this one's a really cool ping pong outfit. This PJ set's really cute as well and I love how it comes with a little stuffed animal to snuggle with. And this is a really fun doll. Here is Willow and she is actually a sleepover doll so she comes with all the sleepover essentials you need. As you guys can see this Target has a lot of animal accessories including the adorable vet set and I'd love to take it home as well but unfortunately it's a little bit too large to fit in my suitcase. There's also a lot of dolls available here which is really handy and I love all the different sets they come with. That was definitely a really great find and I had so much fun at Target going through all of the Our Generation pieces but I think it's time to head back into the hotel room. Ginger and I are back at the hotel and she is playing with her McKenna Mega Block set and it's such a cute set. Now it's time to have some dinner and this looks so good. I'm so excited to eat it and this is definitely one of my favorite places to eat at. On the way back from dinner, I stopped to look at the ice skating rink and it's so cool how they have one in the middle of the square and everything's so festive with the Christmas tree with lights all over it. Even this building here has little wreaths in all the windows. Good morning guys, it's the next day and unfortunately it's our last day in San Francisco but that's okay because we are going to another place in the US so I'm really excited about that. So the first thing I need to do is pick out an outfit for Ginger to wear. On the way to our airport, we're going to stop at a couple of destinations, including the Golden Gate Bridge. It's such a famous landmark, so we definitely need to check it out. As you can see, it is such a pretty day out, and it's so gorgeous, and I love this location. And we also drove up to a lookout where you could see the whole San Francisco, including the Golden Gate Bridge in the corner there, and it's amazing. It's such a pretty city, and I love it. As you can see, it was a pretty windy road to get up here, but it was definitely worth it. So unfortunately, it's now time to head out to the airport, but this trip was so much fun and I had such a great time in San Francisco exploring all of the different sites with Ginger. 
So now we're just waiting for the plane. We're in the airport right now, and the next destination we're heading to is LA. So I'm so excited. I'm heading over to Disneyland, and I'm going to explore all the other sites as well. So stay tuned for that travel video. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it.